Jack Horner is known for being a paleontologist who did a lot of cool stuff and also a lot of crazy, insane stuff that just don't have a place in paleontology at all. This leans more on the former. I mean, this is quite cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the tale. The Chickenosaurus Project is now ready to enter the final stage. Jack Horner's stuff is just incredibly absurd. Sometimes they go the right way. Congratulations to Mr. Horner and everybody involved in the project. In case you're new to the Dino Chicken or Chickenosaurus Project, whichever you prefer, the project is basically reverse evolution on a chicken. I don't have a very good feeling about Jack Horner trying to do crazy stuff, but I'm also a bit excited. Just take a look at the Biosaur theory. It's a very good theory. Taking it a few millennia back to express some of the more physical traits of non-avian dinosaurs. Few millennia back. Few millennia back is just not enough. Even though there would still be some mutations here and there, I find it a bit unreliable. It contained three parts, the snout, the hands or claws, and of course this tail that we just discovered. The snout you can see here, a little bit more broad, it's the one in the middle, than the regular chicken on the left and like an alligator here on the right. And this bird, the Huatzin, actually has claws on its wings as a juvenile. That's where they got the claws from. This most recent discovery was the tail. It actually morphs out of the pigastyle. This is in Spanish, but you can, you get the drift. It probably should be pronounced Picostillo, Picostillo, uh, Picostillo. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to have an effort right now. I'm trying to have some effort to pronounce it the Spanish way. The Pigastyle, the short explanation is that the bones were fusing together early in the embryo development. So what they did was they used a cardigosteroid and it reduced the inflammation so that the bones didn't fuse together and they were basically turned into a tail. Well, it kind of crazy undeniably it actually makes some sort of sense instead of being scavenger pussy t-rex mr horner has actually agreed to answer some questions about the project for me so i'm going to shoot those to him expect another video hopefully soonish you can leave some of your questions in the comments or the replies wherever you're watching this and maybe i can follow up with him and ask him some of those questions too until then guys get ready because we're all getting pet dinosaurs Technically, chickens are dinosaurs, because chickens are birds and birds are dinosaurs, so chickens are dinosaurs. So we have live dinosaurs as domestic stuff. This is video number two, so let's begin. We're finally here with the next Chickenosaurus project update. One thing I want to make clear at the beginning here, it seemed to be a lot of confusion in the comments on my last video. There's no gene altering or DNA altering or anything like that involved in this. This isn't Jurassic Park. This is strictly, well, it gets a little bit muddier. I mean, to be fair, Jack Horner and the others that accompany him are using chemicals instead of gene altering. Gene altering is just absolutely unfeasible as of now. But the project goal is to strictly express dormant genes, atavistic genes. Get to that a little bit later. Just for now, know that there's no gene altering. We're not making mutants. How would gene altering be even feasible if a lot of these types of mutations just make stuff go completely wrong? They're just chickens with teeth and claws and a tail. That's it. Let's move on. Another question I've seen asked a couple times in the comments in my last video was, what is it really good for? What is the research good for other than making dino chicken pets? Which, first of all, is amazing. What's your problem? I'm not like 100% interested in these types of projects, but I can guarantee that this is definitely much better than stuff like scavenger pussy rex. Second of all, there is actual real world medical research in this there was another paper i'll see if i can find it and link it in the description but there is actual practical application to this for human beings some has already come out of it specifically from this last uh, dino chicken tail project so 
It does have real world medical use. It's not strictly for just some of the coolest pets mankind has ever had, except for dogs. Okay, so this video is probably not made for kids as it feels more casual than educational. And I meant educational, I meant bright side and stuff. So don't get hung up on that. Now into the questions that Mr. Horner answered for me here. I want to say that I'm kind of paraphrasing what he said. I'm not using his exact quotes. Might try to incorporate them in the video, see them on the screen, but I'm paraphrasing what he said. I wanted to know first who were the supporters of the program. So of course, if you've been following me for a while, you know George Lucas of Star Wars fame has been supporting it for quite a while. That kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting Star Wars guy to just go on with Jack Horner, even though Jack Horner has a lot of mixed receptions. A private investor named Gary Ostrom has been supporting it. And there was a GoFundMe campaign, which I'm sure some of you donated to. He wanted to acknowledge those people. And then Montana State and Clemson Universities are the two places where the bulk of the actual experiments and work were performed. So without these people, no project. You can just show those chickenosaurus skeletons and all that. It would have been a bit better than showing this. I asked what happened to the tail. That's the whole reason we're here. Why is the tail gone? Birds had tails, now they don't. Most of the non-avian dinosaurs had tails too, so I am not really sure why Jack Horner, if he wanted to, I don't know if he wanted to, but like, the tail was gone. It was just not accurate to uh, non-avian dinosaurs. Mr. Horner, Dr. Horner, we'll go with Dr. Horner, said initially it may have been some kind of disease that affected the tail or some kind of actual physical trauma to the tail, something cut it off, bit it off, who knows. But that's what he speculates happened to the tail of birds back in the, I guess it would be the Cretaceous or after the Cretaceous, whenever they started losing the tail. So that's a little bit of fun fact. Okay. Do these, does the rooster and hen over here classify as having tails? Yes, they do have tails. Next question was, when can we expect our Chickenosaurus? This was another big question of you guys in the comment. When are we getting one? So there's bad news and worse news. We have not reached that point yet. Uh, it's already taken three times longer than Dr. Horner predicted to get to where we are now. Because with projects as ambitious as Chickenosaurus, it would take a very long time to actually get stuff to roll and go. It's really hard to say whether all of the modifications, meaning the teeth, the claws, the tail, would remain viable through an embryonic development. For example, with the tail project, we know why, or we have a clue why, I should say, we don't know exactly why. It fuses together now and makes the pig a style, but what we need to do next is figure out a way to elongate the tail, keep it from fusing, and still grow into a a full-fledged creature that can run around and be healthy. We had a bit of unsuccessful attempts of reviving creatures that are extinct. I mean, Chickenosaurus, it could potentially work, but it'll probably take a long time. That's kind of where we're at now. That's the next step, combining all the modifications. Now back to the atavistic from earlier. Atavistic means displaying characteristics of a previous cultural era or of a previous ancestral form. That's the definition. The teeth, the claws, and the tail in birds are atavistic characteristics from a previous ancestral form. Previous ancestral form is basically just theropod dinosaurs. Dinosaurs that evolved into theropods. Dr. Horner said he originally hoped, and this was the goal of the project I was talking about earlier, that all the alterations would be driven by atavistic genes. Meaning all we'd have to do is go back in, look for the old dormant gene. Jack Horner does correctly state that these dinosaur ancestors, birds are dinosaur ancestors. Although, I believe this is Jack Horner, as this channel stated that they're going to paraphrase what Jack Horner said and show what Jack Horner said. ...and express them. 
Again, we're still a chicken. There's nothing changing this from making it a chicken. It's just cosmetically different. But now there are different processes involved in the various alterations to the skeletons of birds from their evolution to their uh, non-avian ancestors. So he says the ex discovery is exciting for science, but disappointing for the ultimate goal of the project. The only thing that science does is move forward and nothing else to speak of. With science, we can only just move forward with whatever knowledge we have and then increase our new knowledge, new knowledge. <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away there. What that means in a nutshell is we just need more time. In a recent tweet, he said that the next step basically is funding. And that means money. So if you want somebody to put money in this, you got to show that it is something people are interested in, something people want. But in the meantime, you can actually do something. If you want this project to continue, you need to support Dr. Horner. I would support Dr. Horner in this project if he isn't a predator, a literal predator. His Twitter account is at Dusty Dino, so go follow him there. Hit the likes, hit the retweets. He also has, Inst I don't know, his Instagram. Share this content, share any content you can find. Just kind of mention it to friends casually. I mean, don't harass people with it. Nobody's going to listen to it if you're doing it like that. You're making small talk. Hey, did you hear about that Chickenosaurus project? And then tell somebody about it. If you want your chicken to source this sooner than later, that's what you got to do right now. See you in the next video. I'm kind of so so on this Chickenosaurus project. Chickenosaurus, it seems cool. It's quite ambitious. Is it practical? I have no idea. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. See you on the next time.